98 Not Out, sponsored by Shepherd Neen, proud supporters of cricket in Essex. I'm very pleased to welcome to 98 Not Out the one, the only, the man, the legend, Gladstone Small. Hey, Darren, Darren Brett, good <laughs> evening, gents. How are you? I'm sorry, I missed, I missed that song. Oh, jeez, I would love to. I was, uh, would have loved to hear that song played. I have to play. I have to play it when I get off chatting to you boys. <laughs> no worries at Good all. Good choice. Can you can you hear us nice and clearly? I can hear you a bit. It's a bit soft, but I, I can pick okay. you up. Okay, I'll try and pick, we'll try push with. us up a little bit. I'll, I'll fiddle around with some knobs as we do. Yeah, well. <laughs> so you keeping all right? You you keeping so busy in lockdown? Well, absolutely. Yeah, it was, it, yes, not 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 too bad. There's obviously different. Different, different, a bit different to what we what we used to normally this time of year. Yeah, you know the summer will be in full swing. The you know the cricket not playing these days, thankfully. But I'm still very much involved with doing stuff around the test matches, some corporate stuff for the Professional Cricket Association, um, as well as some personal stuff. And then obviously, um, um, I, um, I, my main sent my main business activity is still in cricket and sport, but it's been travel. Yeah. So I would have been building up, building up some some packages, probably looking at some things like the Ryder Cup, which was, which was due to be in September. Mm-hmm. Um, and, and this various, is Black Opal you know, Travel, isn't it? Your company. Black, yeah, Black Opal Travel is is, is is what I what I'm involved with now, and that's because I love still love the sport, not playing it, but there's still a lot of activity to be to be done and enjoyed around it. So. Yeah. And the big news with Black Opal Travel this year is your association with um, the Lords Taverners, and we saw that uh, there was a trip to South Africa just before lockdown, uh, which looked like good fun and a good success. Um, it, it, it certainly was. I mean, <laughs> they, even, they even dragged myself. Myself got, got had a game, got, got a game on, on below the, the the wonderful backdrop of Table Mountain. Yeah, and even even David Gower, I mean, was yeah, was, was seen, he's been on the show. That, that laconic that laconic walk out to the straight out to the to the to the middle. It didn't last for long. Did he do the usual wafting outside off stuff? Yeah, he, yeah, there was a couple <laughs> of wafts. Um, a couple of, but they still look graceful. And and, and my, but now it's brilliant. That was that was a brilliant trip. Obviously, spreading the word of. For the large taverners and 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 launching their their table. I mean, table obviously table mountain is the backdrop. Oh yeah, to, what a what to, a place um, to do that. Cape Town, and then they were able to, to to launch their table their table cricket that that is that's tested by all all and everyone um, can, is able to play at the uh, to get a feel of of what being involved with playing even playing cricket. Um, so it was really good. It was a really good cool thing to do. So talking of David Gower and the Lost Taverners, um, tomorrow um, is the latest in the At Home with Cricket webcast that the Taverners have been doing, um, and it's uh, it's David Gower hosting it, and uh, the panel is obviously yourself, uh, England's Zach Crawley, um, Sky Sports Mike Atherton, and West Indies coach Phil Simmons, so um, that should be amazing, that should be really good, uh, people should really definitely join in. Uh, and yeah. I believe it's free to you. Just go to the Lords Taverners website, register, and on you go. It's all on. It's a Zoom. It's a Zoom webinar. we we'll be tomorrow. We, it, it's it's going to be normally we've had them. We've been doing them obviously through this whole period. Must um, in conjunction in partnership with, with the, you say mentioned the Lords Taverners, but it's it's Black Opal. Um, it's, a, it's something that we, we 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 put on for our for our clients just to get them. They couldn't go to watch the, the cricket, and so it's just to give them a. Still to give them a flavour of, of what's going on in, in in the cricket world. So we've done a few we've done a few with cricket cricket chats at yeah. home social. We did actually did one for, um, with rugby for we had four four British Lions players: Rob Andrew, Robert Jones, um, Rob Henderson, and um, and and Scott Scott Hastings. And and we did one with with the Ryder what Ryder Cup one um, a couple of weeks ago as well with Ian Woosnam and. Paul Laurie and Peter Baker, so it gives a, a flavour of just uh, obviously of, of what's going on in the world of, of those sports. And uh, and tomorrow, David Gower, you know, he's <laughs> obviously you know the great you know from after he finished playing, he's been obviously presented Sky Sports cricket for many yes. years. So he, he's still still very and obviously Mike Atherton is one of the best best brains and writing and speaking on the game. And young Zach Crawley is 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 is, is, a, is a is a black opal ambassador. I'm right. And hopefully okay. hoping that hoping that he that he makes obviously he's, he hopefully he, he keeps his, his spot in the in the in the in the England lineup at, at, uh, during the summer and then Phil Simmons is a 
is a wonderful dear friend of mine. You know, we lock horns together many times on the <laughs> cricket field, and and, uh, and he's obviously here as the, as the head coach of the West Indies of yeah. the West Indies squad. So he'll be able to give give a give an angle of of of, of life of life and I spoke to him. I spoke to him um, uh, last week uh, to, to set it up, and he's he's there. Obviously, been based up in Manchester. Yeah. So, so he was very. I mean, Phil is a guy. He obviously knows England really well. He's got lots of friends, and his his his, uh, his family of still uh, lives here in, in the UK. And um, so he was he was a bit obviously a little bit disappointed he's not been able to get out and and get out to 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 enjoy the to enjoy the the the, 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 the wonderful things that they normally do when when touring. It's been a different tour. That's oh, for sure. oh, definitely, definitely. You'll have to get Phil to come on this show at some point during the summer. Yeah, absolutely. put a word in. Um, but, but as you say, this is a completely, I mean, it's uh, unprecedented times and the, the preparations with both teams locked away in a bubble um, ahead of this test match. How do you think that's affected preparations? Well, Alison, these, the one thing you got to these guys are very professional and, and they're, they're obviously aware of, 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 of what's going on around them and the world around them. So, and, and, uh, and having not, obviously, they've been, not been allowed to... to to, 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 normally they said there would have been what four, three, four months into the cricket season and yeah. playing lots of cricket and I mean the, the rest of this tour would have been probably gone. This was meant to be played in, in back in June. Yeah. Um, but now we're starting here. We are starting in um, in, the, in in July. So the players they, they know that they'll it's different and they will. But it's a, they would be. I mean, it, I would have thought being. Um, Cooked up in a in a in a in a hotel in a biosecure environment that they have in the hotel from the hotel gr- rooms to the, to the cricket ground and then back to the hotel rooms. Um, it, it must be it must be a little bit different because these guys are young young guys. Yeah. They like to they, they like to you know still relax and, and get to see. They're not able to see their even the England players. They're not they're not allowed to, no. to get out the, from the, the from that biosecure unit to go see their. We go see their families. Joe Root, the England captain, he's he's had to withdraw to be to, to attend the, the birth of his his, his second second his second yeah. um, child sometime next week and stuff. So so it's uh, it's a little bit different. But these these guys that they they first and foremost they're professional they're cricketers and and anything they can do to get back playing cricket they'll they'll make sure that they'll do it. they'll they'll prepare themselves as best they can. But it's going to be different. I mean. I can't imagine what it'd be like playing in a playing in an empty an empty empty stadium. Normally, luckily in England, we get we have our, all of our stadiums are normally full, definitely full for the definitely for the first three days. And if the matches get interesting over the weekend, they remain full. Um, so the England players that that's going to be a little bit different for them, not having that that support, and it gets quite vocal and quite atmospheric. I think Stuart Broad has come out and said he's he's actually got some. Some uh, advice from uh, you know, been chatting to some of the um, of, uh, sports uh, coaches that how he's going to sort of cope mentally and get himself up for it, isn't he? Because he he feed, he's one of those players that does feed off a, a crowd buzzing. And, and absolutely, I mean, yes, I mean, yes, you, you 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 can you can get you can get an inspiration draw inspiration from from the crowd and and the noise and then England England get great support. When playing around, if you're thinking of places like Edgbaston or the Oval or you know Manchester, they get they get some quite vocal support, and when you know the, when the the, the Barmy Army following get get behind them, that so that 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 can inspire them. But but hey, they're, they're still playing it for England, and they're playing for playing a Test match. They'll have the three lines on their on their on their on their shirts, and and they know that it's it, the the. You know, it's live. It's going to be live on obviously TV, radio. So there's there's still going to be pride in, in all the stuff you play for. This so that's not going to be far away. And so they, if, yes, no crowd, but they'll still they'll still know it's going to have a big importance to, to themselves and the team. And they're usually big encounters and great encounters. Uh, what's been your sort of favourite memories of playing against the West Indies? <laughs> Losing. <sadly. laughs> <laughs> yeah, but you personally had some decent, before, even in losing causes. You, you did all right, though, didn't you? Oh well, listen. I mean, listen. It was always wonderful, wonderful fun playing. I mean, those guys were. I mean, they, they, were, they were great. I mean, they were just there. Uh, that, that was uh, that was the best in his team. That <laughs> that, uh, <laughs> that then was probably um, back in the late eighties when I first slot horns against them, and then early nineties. I mean, they were. 
in it, probably the, probably the best cricket team yeah, that's, we that's ever played the game. I mean, they were they were quite formidable. But but we did we remember did did beat them. We played in, in, in Jamaica in 1990. We, we, we in the first match of that a series oh. there. In that series, it was the first time that England had beaten them in in Jamaica for 37 years. So that that was that was quite a and that had that captained by Viv Richards and it had the likes of you know Greenwich and Haynes and Marshall, Marshall and, yeah. and all these sort of boys. So that that was that was quite that's a that's an amazing to, to test pull, match. Pull a victory on them. We've had a few people talk about that test match. Alan Lamb was on our show last week. Uh, and he was he was talking about that. He got a hundred in that I'm, game. I'm surprised. I'm surprised he remembered because he was drunk most of the time. <laughs> <That's all. laughs> I've heard a few stories from some of the other guys involved because NASA made his debut that day as well. Uh, and I have heard some really cracking stories which we can't talk about on air. <laughs> I mean, the, the, the wonderful thing about that, that Alan, I mean, that Lammy, very true to me. Lammy was, I mean, the guy who was a fantastic, great pal of mine. Captain Crackhorn is, 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 is my nickname. For him. <laughs> but he 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 um he that's he was he was vice captain to Graham to Gucci Graham Gooch. Yeah. And and uh, I remember he, we he we pulled up he, he pulled up the very first afternoon we landed in Barbados for for our pre tour warm up for ten days in Barbados. What a place to go for that's ten days just to to warm up for the, for the series. It's always that experience and, of getting off the plane, isn't it? You know, you open the door and you, that heat and humidity hits you. <sighs> But, but, but Lammy, Lammy, he's a clever, but he's a clever bugger, Lammy, because he he pulled he pulled the fetlock, he pulled the calf muscle, running back <laughs> to the hotel the first <laughs> afternoon's training, and then went went and hired a mini mort the next morning. I mean, yeah, everywhere at the cricket tour, he's got a mini mort, which is what the, the usually what tourists drive yeah. along in. And he and he, so he, he got to know that the the, the racing fraternity back then was a guy called Robert Sanks that owned a big villa oh, yeah. on Sandy Lane estate yeah. and um and uh L- L- lammy was was yes he, he you know while we were slugging our guts out running around in the heat of kensington oval with gucci lammy was was um <laughs> was, was getting booed in himself in the in the local flavors and cultures and then and then he, he i think he had one knock he, he batted once he got about 20 odd runs in a, a match in st lucia before that was that was rain affected before that first test, and then had to face the might of the West Indies pace attack, and he, he went and got a hundred and hundred and thirty odd in that in that first innings to set up set up, set up the match first to win. But that, that was Alan Lamb. He's a phenomenal player in what seven? I think he scored seven centuries against the West Indies. Which, yeah, which takes not not many batsmen around the world at that time can 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 count that sort of statistics against those boys. I think him and Gucci seem to really rise to the occasion with the fast bowling attack of the West Indies. They, they seem, you know, I don't know, when we talked to Lammy last week, he sort of said that was due to his, his, his learning of the game in South Africa where there weren't many spinners and when you played Curry Cup, you would always be up against the sort of uh, the Clive Rises, the Pollocks or whatever else of this world. So you, you were schooled in fast bowling from a young age. So for him, when he, when he came across the West Indies... Um, you know, it wasn't that hard. Although he did say that his heart was beating like mad every time Alfred Marshall was coming <laughs> in. <laughs> well, he, cer- he certainly was a very, he was a very good, he was very true to say that South African upbringing, playing on a hard surface. He's a very good player of, of the back foot, and 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 when you played against him with that West Indies attack, you you didn't get many many front foot drives. I assure you. So he <laughs> so he, he he certainly knew how to play how to play against him. But listen, these, listen, these, the, the, the current guys obviously. They're not. They're not quite as. They're not quite that. <laughs> despite what the the the, the bowling coach Roddy Estwick, I believe he he made a comment um, um, a, a couple of weeks ago at the start of this tour where he, I think he might have been misquoted, but he seemed to be referring, conferring, um, comparing, sorry, this current um, the current bowling attack that the West Indies have, which isn't bad. Which isn't a bad bowling attack. Mm-hmm. It's not a bad bowling attack. The likes of Shannon Gabriel and Kimar Roach and. Azari Joseph and Cap. Anyhow, they'll test. They'll test the England batsmen, but I, I assure you, they are not in the same league <laughs> as, as as the guys who played in the in the seventies, eighties, and early nineties for the West Indies. The game as well, you know. When I look back at that that time of cricket, you know, with the West Indies, with England, with the Aussies, and all that, it seemed like a really joyous time to be playing cricket and. The characters, and you know, as we've sort of talked about, the stories around then as well. Today you can't do any of that because of mobile phones and everyone's watching and social media or whatever else. But you, you kind of had a bit of freedom back then to enjoy yourselves and, uh, you know, the uh, stories come out later on. 
Yeah, I listen, absolutely. Listen, all, all sports, you, if you speak to any any sportsman who played their sport back in that era, and I listen, we were all very professional. Um, we played, we didn't, we didn't, we, 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 we didn't train. We weren't, we weren't big trainers. Uh, but, you know, I've heard you know, we did about enough, the training did to, <laughs> But we played a lot. I mean, we did a lot of playing. We played a lot of county cricket in right. England. We played much more county cricket than the pre these present England boys will do. Um, so we did a lot, a lot of bowling, a lot of playing. But, but but yes, I mean it, we 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 did have we we did have um, a, a lot a little bit more. It was a bit more enjoyable, and I mean I do I don't envy the current guys. And don't get me wrong, these guys they they some of them they do they do like a bit of fun to one or two of the, the current boys. But they do have to be more careful and aware of the twenty four seven news media that that, yeah. that 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 they're that that they're, the environment that they're play under. Everything's they're on the microscope. Everything that they they can't sneeze. The folks are one, you know, the folks are one either even from their own camp want to wanted to analyze it and and and, so, and, and then obviously from the, the other stories that develop. So yes, they, they, they do play in in, on, in a certain in a certain bubble. I think some of it some of it is the probably some of them. Does, 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 I'd like to see them still play with a bit more of a smile and enjoyment on yeah, their faces. Definitely. Um, because it's still only it's still only it's still only a game, to be honest. But um, but yes, they, they do. It's 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 um it's now um a, a, a game that that yeah. You know, I, I was lucky to play at the time when when we were able to play play hard, play very hard on the on the park and 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 then do what we needed to do. But then afterwards, we were able to to get out and. And enjoy, enjoy. It was only a, a game of sport, and you and meant to enjoy. So I, I loved my time doing it. There was another thing that um, that's going back to that Sabina Test match in 1990. Um, was uh, was it 1991? It was 1990. Yeah, 1990. Early 1990. Yeah. Yeah. Um, and another thing is that you won't find any footage anywhere because there wasn't a single TV camera at the ground. Whereas well, now. That's yeah, actually, actually, no. That was actually that was Sky Sport. That was their first. That was the first Sky Sport. That was their ah. first TV rights. Of, ah. That they had for covering any 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 sport, even before obviously not before football. You know, it was their first TV rights. And because I the reason I know it was because we after winning that that first that first Test match in Jamaica, the the sales the, the, they, they couldn't make those those the I think. Dishes, Amstrad dishes. That was, yeah. um, they couldn't make them fast enough. They were flying out of out of the shops on the back of that victory in in Jamaica. And then sugar. Uh, and and what? And actually, Sky B. Well, I think it was British B Sky B or whatever it's called back then. I think they, they then install they install a, um, um, a a dish into all into all the players into all the players' homes so okay. that the the family, the wise and family back in England, can watch what was going on that that series <laughs> on the field. <laughs> Not off the field. <laughs> <laughs> so, Gladstone, tell us a, a bit about um, Black Opal Travel then. Um, you know, what, what's going to be the plans going forward? You obviously, you're supporting the Taverners, but in terms of the travel business, do, do, what, what's well, going to be the well, plans after the travel, COVID? Obviously, the travel business, like everything else, is 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 going to be it's going to be different it's uh, it's not going to be it's not going to be what it not what the new normal so we say whatever that's going to be and but we so yeah we don't know not quite sure that they're still waiting to hear what what routes are going to be what sport is going to be played and when they're going to be played like they, at the moment we are monitoring say like the, the next big cricket tournament is the is the t20 world cup in australia which mm -hmm. is scheduled scheduled to play um in in um so October, in October, November, yeah. they, uh, we were looking at we were looking at, at probably doing something for a couple of take, taking in a couple of England. England were due to play a game against um, South Africa in Sydney, and then and then also then India and Melbourne, and then there was a big then looking at a at a big event in Melbourne. So that, but if if, if it, even if it's still played, are people going to be allowed to go yeah. to watch, and and people are going to be allowed to, to travel? So. Uh, we were looking at doing something for the IPL. One of our ambassadors is Jason Roy. He, he was he was signed up to play for the Delhi Delhi Capital team, and we were looking looking to put on something during that one to take to take our clients over to watch 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 two or three games of cricket over like a six seven day period in, in the t in, in the IPL. So I was looking for that one, but at the moment where. We're obviously this year is looking very uncertain and and can't quite see where 
if even if we can travel, if if the sports themselves are going to be are going to be allowed, are going to be have live spectators. Um, so but at the moment we're planning and, and and well 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 on track to looking at the British Lions rugby tour to South Africa That's what next you're next say. summer next July August. So we're just waiting for for confirmation on on things from that. But again, you know, we're still uh, oh that's all up, up, up in the air as to what's happening with COVID in in in, 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 in South Africa. So, but we still we're very very still operational. We now we now have yeah, we do villa holidays, the stay, staycation villas. If you go on the Black Opal website, there's it, it, some villas on there for staycation. Um, the webinars, the very very the Zoom webinars that we have Thank tomorrow. You. A very good one, as I said, just to keep our clients, our clients in in inform and entertain, and and keep them keep them in the loop to let them know that we're still in in in, in business, mm-hmm. and um and and we've had some good good responses and uh, from 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 hosting those. So mm-hmm. yes, it's different. It's a different <laughs> world yes, that we all that we all living in at the moment. Um, but we you still got to be proactive and try and, and and try and get 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 yourself in, in, into the action. Indeed. Gladstone, thank you very much for joining us. We just remind everyone, so tomorrow uh, you've got the webcast. Um, it's on Zoom. They need to go on to lordstaverners.org. Uh, and it's with, it's going to be hosted by David Gow with yourself, Zach Crawley, Mike Atherton and West Indies coach Phil Simmons. Superb panel. Uh, and you're going to be talking about the uh, upcoming West Indies games. And it's free, Absolutely. isn't it? Free to Absolutely. register. What time does it start? Here and obviously the test match starts... Um, Next Wednesday, yeah, July the eighth at Southampton. Southampton. Yeah. We'll, we'll be reporting that it's probably rained for two days, <laughs> won't we? Next Thursday. <laughs> that, hey, it's England. It's summer in England. Anything, anything's going. Anything yeah, it can happen. Could it could do. Yeah, it could be thirty-five right degrees as well. Be heat wave. Listen, fantastic to hear your voice, and uh, I look forward to catching up with you at some point very soon. Well, hopefully, Darren, we will be be on the on back on the rock of Barbados with a, with a rum and coke and, and having some and having some. Uh, we mentioned a, a, a roti or two or some or some saltfish cakes. Oh, if you two need to chaperone, you can take me along for the ride. <laughs> <I don't mind. laughs> you're on. You're in. Floyd and fish. <laughs> Absolutely. <laughs> <laughs> Thanks, Top man. Thanks a lot, Preston. Thank you very much indeed. All the best, guys. Take, Take care. care. Bye. All the best.